everybody, I'm Steve Simon and I'm the CEO here at uh, Iowa Specialty Hospital. Uh, this is the third part in a series of how I'm doing on my uh, gastric sleeve surgery. So a couple things. Number one, um, I'm not weighing in every day because I don't want to live and die by the scale. I've never been that type of person. But that also probably allows me to, to cheat a little bit. So I need to do that every week or so. Um, I think the progress is probably the best um, to the side. You know, people have come up to me at church and, and things and said, uh, oh, you've lost your gut. I'm like, yeah, I lost my gut. Um, and, I'm, and I'm digging into uh, clothes that I haven't worn for years. But specifically, I had probably lost about 45 pounds, and it's been two months, basically, to the day, right, that I had the, uh, that I had the surgery. A lot of different docs have a lot of different perspectives on exercise. Dr. Ivis said after, uh, after a month, you know, go full bore as far as strength training, and, and I did cardio a couple weeks after the surgery, so I've been going, I've been doing my exercise a lot. What I've been uh, finding is that I have a lot more energy and um, a lot more drive, so my workouts are fantastic. And so I've been working out like crazy for about an hour a day. Am I an emotional leader? Absolutely. And I find myself uh, throwing stuff away saying, Steve, stop. And um, I, that's something I think we are all going to deal with for the rest of our life. We just have to figure out you know, how to work with the new stomach, the new perspective. You know, I can't overeat um, physically. I just can't overeat. But uh, yeah, I'm still doing a little bit of emotional eating, and, and I think that's just something that I'm gonna have to deal with for a long, long time. Some of the questions are, are what you've asked. You know, how much weight? Um, you know, emotional eating. Uh, you know, do you find yourself getting ill or anything like that? I've had no issues. You know, no pain, no issues. Sometimes if I eat too fast, um, yeah, I, I have to deal with that. But, you know, um, I think my big focus is getting my water in on a daily basis, which we should all drink, you know, at least 64 ounces, you know, whether you've had the surgery or not. You know, getting my protein in, focusing on getting my protein in before my carbs or, or my sugars. And, and so, you know, there's, they're normal questions, but for the most part, people are just really wanting to know if it was worth it. And I can tell you, for me, it definitely was.